tucked away behind Guggenheim Hall on the University of Washington campus. Ready for wind? Is a little known place where winds can blow up to 200 miles an hour inside. It's the Kirsten Wind Tunnel, a world-class research facility that's part of the aeronautics and astronautics program at UW. This for-profit facility is operated by two staff members and about a dozen aeronautical or engineering students. Wind tunnels are really here to do aerodynamics testing. Aerodynamics is really, really complicated. It's hard to solve the mathematical equations. So the easiest way to do it really is to bring a model of an airplane or a cyclist or whatever thing you want to test and put it in what's called a wind tunnel. Former UW aeronautics and astronautics professor Fred Kirsten designed the tunnel in the 1930s, and in 1939, it was open for business. Early customers included Boeing, Lockheed, and Davis Aircraft Industries, as well as the U.S. military. Most of our clients are looking for aircraft testing, and that's where the most of our money comes in. The process begins in the test section, where sensors record data and scientists make visual observations. The aircraft, or your test article, mounts inside the test section, and there's a post that runs all the way from your model down underneath the test section out of the wind, where we have a balance that measures the aerodynamic forces and moments. The data is then recorded by computer in the control room, where it can be observed and analyzed by customers and engineers. And powering this whole process are the workhorses of the tunnel, the motors and fans. So this is one of two of our wind tunnel fans. So we are a closed circuit, double return wind tunnel. So we have two circuits where they meet and the flow enters the test section as one. All right, we're painting. In addition to computer generated data, visual observations are extremely useful because air is transparent. Special techniques often need to be used. And this is where we paint a mixture of kerosene and dagolo powder and the stuff called Kentucky ball clay um, onto the surface of the wing. And when we turn the wind on, the kerosene dries, leaving the powder along the surface. And so you can see along here, it's attached and starting to separate at the back, but you also get some separation here with a reverse flow vortex. So this is where the stall point is starting to develop at 11 degrees angle of attack. Wind tunnel testing is also an important part of the sports industry. Studying the aerodynamics of an athlete's form, the equipment, even the clothing can help maximize performance. Speed skating, luge, and hockey teams have all used the tunnel. Even Seattle's iconic Space Needle was tested in 1961 to make sure it could withstand earthquakes and windstorms. The best thing about working here is a really dynamic work environment. So it's never the same job every day. 